Let's try a Kepler's third law problem. Kepler's third law says that the radius of orbit cubed of any object divided by the period squared of that object going around, let's say, a planet or the sun, gives you a constant. And that constant is the same for any object orbiting that central object. So there's a constant for the sun, meaning anything going around the sun has a constant that's equal for each planet. Anything going around the Earth, well, there would be a different constant, but it would be a constant, and anything going around the Earth would follow that constant. So here we are in a situation, well, I could ask you, you know, given K and R, could you find T? There's simple problems like that. But let's do something a little more complex. Here I have the Earth, and I have a satellite going around the Earth. And I want the satellite to, to find out what the altitude of the satellite is for a geostationary orbit. Geostationary orbit means it goes around the Earth once every 24 hours. For us, relative to us, because the Earth is rotating once every 24 hours, the satellite stays in one place. So that's a really good place to have a satellite because we can point a dish at it and get information to and from that satellite without having to track it across the sky. So I'm looking for the altitude. The word altitude is very important. It means what I'm really asking is, what's the height above the surface of the Earth? Okay, so we look at Kepler's third law, and I don't have the constant for objects going around the Earth. But I know every object going around the Earth has that same constant, so I can compare one object to another. Like I can say, let's look at the moon, it's going around the Earth, and let's look at the satellite, it's going around the Earth. So r cubed over t squared for the moon should be equal to r cubed over t squared for the satellite. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say r cubed for the moon over t squared for the moon is equal to r cubed of the satellite over t squared of the satellite. And what we're going to be able to do is solve for the distance to the satellite from the center of the, center of the Earth, and then what we've got to do is subtract the radius of the Earth to find out what the altitude is. So, let's plug in our numbers. Well, the period of the satellite, it's going around the Earth once every 24 hours, once a day. So the period of the satellite is equal to 24 hours. But we've got to turn that into seconds. So we multiply by 60 to give us minutes times 60. The period of the satellite is um, 8.64 times 10 to the 5. 10 to the, no, 4 seconds. So 24 times 60 times 60 gives me that number. That's the period of the satellite in seconds. So let's plug all our numbers here. We know the radius of orbit for the moon, that was given. We know the period of the moon in seconds, and we're going to use this one later. So we got 3.8 times 10 to the 8 cubed over 2.36 times 10 to the 6 squared equals what we're looking for, raise the satellite divided by 8.64 times 10 to the 4, and that is squared. So I got everything in my formula. Remember to cube this, square that, that's a cube, that's a square. Okay, the thing with planetary mechanics is when you're solving problems, you get lots of squares and cubes and huge numbers, so you have to make the calculation several times. Make sure you're plugging it in your calculator, get the cube root here. I'm not gonna do it, but um, in the end, the radius of orbit is um, 4.19 times 10 to the 7 meters. So rearrange this, solve for it, that's what you get. But that's not what I was really looking for. Uh, that is the distance from the formula from the center of, center of the Earth to the uh, center of the satellite. But I want the altitude. That's this. To find the altitude, I must subtract the radius of the Earth. So the altitude equals radius of the satellite minus uh, the, the radius of the Earth. So it's 4.19 times 10 to the 7 minus 6.38 times 10 to the 6. The altitude is 3. 0.55 times 10 to the 7 meters, which is 35,500 kilometers, to give you an idea of how big it is. 